a shot here. There we go. Now I have the time again. Okay, so uh, uh, do I, can I get an intraday on here? Okay, so this is the intraday on here. Okay, so we have the low of the market, and then we have uh, 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 early action in the week, uh, Wednesday low, and then we bounced up. Now this is just, um, uh, like I said, this is the bullish percent to the S&P 500 and uh, divided by uh, the volatility. So uh, I'm going to assume that a lot of the, um, uh, indices, the bullish percent indexes, indices of um, the S&P or XLY, XLP, that kind of thing, they're going to probably be a washout here. Um, I wanted to look, here's SPY. Uh, what we have going on here is that they did sell into this. Okay, this is money flow and unbalanced volume. I just kind of look at this. Money flow is smart money and unbalanced volume are the the, the traders and stuff. So they, they bid into this here. But what I thought was interesting, this also at the end of the week, you know, you have your weekly bars and things of that nature, is that they were actually willing to get out, okay, on the move up. The late afternoon, and we, if we can hold this, 260, 261 area here with uh, the market uh, volume profile here. Um, that would be support for right now. This is a one minute, 10 day uh, deal. I wonder what it looks like with five days. Just grabbing this week. Uh, so it is, okay, so this is holding here. Okay, so this is, um, this is holding. Okay, so, you know, we have earnings coming out next week and um, you know, the Finviz one, I posted that on Twits. Uh, what do I have here? S&P 500 here. Um, you can see the um, that they were willing to dump. Okay. And uh, while I'm at this, I'll give a daily again. Okay, so the S&P here. All right, so, you know, I have uh, SAR dots on here too. And then... Um, another trend on here so we're talking uh, you basically have to clear the I'll just say the high for the week here but it this is basically a pause there's just two ways they're either gonna buy this thing up um, and, and we're gonna take it higher or um, this just could basically collapse and then we'll, we'll run into a uh, where did this start January nine months January January high that's usually not a good deal um, into September barely minimum which would be the end of the fiscal year for the feds um, that's probably how it would run and we'll just continue lower uh, we'll just get out of equities and then um, basically just watch the debt uh, let's see here real quick do I have this FX sediment or sediment sentiment yes Kevin's doing his videos again all right Let's check out the S&P on here real quick. Our natural gas, S&P. Okay, so what we have going on here is the net positions. It's listed as long here. You can see that they kind of, they bought the, the, the dip and it didn't work for them. Um, the red is the price. Okay, so here they, they're, they're coming in once again here on buying it. The net, they're net long on here. Um, as you can see, they were almost flat and the market started taking off here uh, what do we have on here okay so this is 10 years they're really on the short side so okay so uh, I'm gonna assume we're gonna get a bounce here here's gold they're beginning to come out at the highs and then natty gas they're still in that short on natty gas natty gas is really tightening up for right now here uh, oil oil came off pretty good on Friday and there, there's, I think there's record speculation in there and by the big money. So we may have an incident where the dollar gets stronger just because of our people short. Okay, New Zealand dollar versus Aussie, Japanese yen. Okay, but they're not, they're just, not they long yet? Yeah, they are. Yep, there we go. Okay, so they just turn they just turn long on the yen. Cute. And euro. So we're up here on the euro. So short euro play here. Okay, so this should do the trick for now on the S P and that. Another video go uh, look at the